When Daniel and I were engaged, we were looking for a church that we could really get plugged into um, because faith was always a very cornerstone of our relationship. We were very young and we didn't have kids and so we were trying to find more couples our age to just enjoy time with and get to pray with and do things with. When we got married, uh, we moved to Cordova and driving back and forth from Millington to Cordova, not just for Sunday mornings, but trying to be plugged in on Wednesday nights and Sunday nights and doing things like that just got to be hard. We just really felt like uh, we needed something more. We really did not want to go to Bellevue. We, um, just because it was so big, there was just a stigma associated with that. Bellevue's this huge church, and we want to be, go somewhere where we can be significant, and we, will be, we can be involved, and we just don't, we're not another member. And um, I remember one morning, we were just like, you know, let's just go, let's try. And we never left. I remember we went the first time, and somebody you know, sweetly greeted us and took us to a young married class, same age. They had all just recently been married within the same time as we had and immediately just fell in love. Um, felt very welcomed and just wanted to be a part of what this church had. And our friendships really started out with just doing fun things and going to things outside of church, but then they developed into so much more. I mean, we've shared hard times with our friends and really got to bear with them through difficult circumstances and um, it strengthened our relationship with the Lord and our prayer life and just our marriage, huge for our yeah. marriage. Yeah. I got out my prayer journal the other day, like when we had just moved to Bellevue, and I prayed and asked God to make Daniel um, closer with him and to increase his prayer life and to make him more in love with the Lord. And I was always so burdened about that and so worried about that and stressed about that thinking, Lord, are you ever going to answer this prayer? And seeing him now, um, it just, I opened up my prayer journal the other day and I just was overwhelmed with how good God has been to us and to me for answering my prayers because Daniel is now involved in a discipleship group. I can honestly say that when I meet with that discipleship group, it's the best part of my week. And it's all consisting of guys that are in my life group. I need those guys. It's big for me because I, I want so bad to be the spiritual leader for her and to be that for um, our family when, it, when, when we expand our family. In a world where there's so much turmoil and just so many ungodly people, it's just a breath of fresh air to get to come on Sunday morning and be around godly people yeah. and to get refreshed and rejuvenated and then be able to take on the rest of your work week. And it all comes back to community and, and, and the friends that, that, that we've developed and the people that we, we surround ourselves with. I'm Daniel. And I'm Whitney. And, and that's, that's our Red Chair story. story.